My own view is that the internment of Japanese, Japanese Canadians uh, during the Second World War was one of the great historical injustices in Canadian history. Uh, there are others, uh, treatment of Aboriginal peoples uh, today and in the past. Uh, but what I think stands out in, in the moment of the Second World War was uh, a highlighting of how dangerous it is when there are social overreactions to threat. Uh, I think the government's policy of internment was the wrong policy. It was not based on any real threat but only on perceptions of threat and I think even more perhaps a, a desire to create a form of punishment that was a collective punishment and I think it was profoundly wrong and Canadians don't know enough about that history and I think uh, we have an opportunity now uh, to use the resources of the university to help redress that wrong and it was a fundamental wrong. The internment meant that UBC students in particular were forced to leave their studies. These were often really committed students who were working very, very hard and had done nothing uh, to justify this action. I think that the sad thing for the university is that so few people stood up in their defense. There were some, but given the role of the university as a model for human rights and as a model for respect of individuals and cultures, I would have hoped that there would be more resistance. UBC's made the decision that it's right to acknowledge the individual injustice that was done to the Japanese Canadian students in the 1940s, uh, but also that it's important to take the opportunity to reflect more broadly on social injustice and uh, to help uh, new generations of Canadians and indeed students from other parts of the world to understand that this was a dark chapter in Canadian history. And we think that uh, in acknowledging the individual uh, unfairness, we're also uh, making a statement about broader social unfairness. And that's partly why it took some time to decide what the right approach was. Uh, rather than simply using a symbolic gesture, which is important, uh, we also wanted to try to create some programming and create curriculum that would, for the future, keep this question alive so that the memory of what happened is not lost and so that there's really a continuing honoring of the students who uh, were interned at that time. I've learned something very important for me in the experience of the Japanese Canadian students who were interned in the Second World War. That is that those students went on to build lives. They created families. Uh, they worked hard. They made careers. They contributed to Canada. Instead of uh, being angry, instead of saying, I have no role to play, they actually helped to build our society. I'm very grateful for that lesson. It shows that resilience, perseverance, persistence, at the end really can triumph over wrong. And I'm very grateful for that lesson.